So someone wanted to know about prostate cancer and what we need to know about it in NeuroOp. And the main things you need to know about prostate cancer is that it has an unusual grading scale that they, the urologists use, which is the Gleason scale. And so the Gleason is going to be the most common and it's graded one to five and then the second most common. So it'll look real strange to you. It'll be these two numbers with a plus sign. So in this case, four is the most common, three was the second most common grade, going from most differentiated to least differentiated and various degrees of differentiation in between. So this would be a Gleason seven, and this is a four plus three. That's worse than a seven, which is a three plus four, even though they're both a seven, because this is the most common. And so, the prognosis is why you need to know this. The higher the Gleason score, the more likely whatever they're presenting to us with, whether it's a Horner syndrome or optic neuropathy or diplopia or proptosis, so whatever they're coming to us for, if the past medical history contains prostate cancer, we'd like to know what the Gleason is because if your Gleason is 10 or 9 or 8, well, then it's probably related. Seven, it's still probably related. You have to work it up. But if you study low Gleason numbers, less than six, it's probably not related. So that's the way we use this in NeuroOp. Not because we need to know what a Gleason is or the pathology of prostate cancer, but that you should risk stratify. That is the main overarching thing. Risk stratification of this prostate cancer to be presenting to us in NeuroOp. And because prostate cancer likes to go to bone, the way it comes to NeuroOp is it likes to go to the clivus. And in fact, if you look at metastatic lesions to the clivus, prostate is very high on the list. So the clivus means slope. And so, as you know, you've got your, your pons and your midbrain. Sixth nerve comes up, rides up the clivus, turns at the Reynolds Canal to enter the cavernous sinus to get to the orbit. So a sixth, either unilateral or bilateral, can be the presenting or the only finding of a clival metastasis. And so if I've got prostate cancer, I'm going to ask the resident what the Gleason was, a combination of the most common, followed the second most common pathology. If it's seven or above, I'm going to be looking at this clivus in someone whose chief complaint to neurop is diplopia, especially if it's a six nerve palsy, either unilateral or bilateral. The other way it comes to us, it can go to the bulls, bones in the skull base, and so it can produce orbital presentations, and if you're near the canal, it can cause optic neuropathy but usually it's gonna be clivus. So diplopia, six clivus, skull base, bone metastasis, and you need to know a little bit about the Gleason in any neuro patient who has a past medical history of prostate cancer.